And we begin with big news from Pfizer today. The company saying its coronavirus vaccine works in kids ages 5 to 11, and they plan to ask for emergency authorization soon. And that is welcome news for a lot of parents now that school has started. Fox 9's Theo Keith is in the newsroom with more on this. Theo, do we have a timeline? Well, Randy, parents may be able to get their younger kids vaccinated yet this fall. That's because Pfizer says it's going to ask for emergency use authorization by the end of September. And the FDA has typically taken about a month to review previous applications. As some parents worry about COVID spreading among their kids now that school has restarted, Pfizer says their vaccine will help. The company says its shot, tested on kids ages 5 to 11 at lower dosage, produces the same antibody levels as teens and younger adults saw with a bigger dose. And so I see this as urgent for many reasons, the, the social reasons as well as the immediate impact in reducing uh, hospitalizations and illness. In Minnesota, younger kids ineligible for vaccines now make up 11% of the state's total infections, shown by the orange line. For the most part, children recover from COVID infections. Only three Minnesota kids have died from the virus. Pfizer's vaccine is authorized for children 12 and older, but only half of older kids in Minnesota are fully vaccinated. If Pfizer's vaccine wins approval for younger kids, it's likely the state will struggle with the same vaccination disparities as it's seen with adults. For example, in Minneapolis, zip codes in southwest, northeast, and downtown have vaccination rates approaching 85 or 90 percent. But city officials said Monday that in near north and Cedar Riverside, Vaccination rates are 55% or less. So hopefully within the next four to six weeks, we'll have some additional staff people on that will be targeting the East African Somali community, the African American community, and the Latino community to start with. By at least one measure, Minnesota's current COVID wave is worse than the one that hit this spring. 757 people of all ages are hospitalized, the most since January 7th. Randy?